bowling fans, I'm Jason Thomas, the bowling guy, and this is the PBA 39x60 pregame show. I'm standing here at historic Thunder Bowl lanes in suburban Detroit, just prior to the start of the ESPN Finals of the PBA League's Round 2 and the Carmen Salvino Classic Finals. Speaking of the PBA League, let's send it down to our colleague Ashley Galante, who's down on the lanes with Dallas Strikers owner Terrell Owens. Thank you, Jason. Hi, I'm Ashley Galante. I'm here with Terrell Owens, who is the team owner of the Dallas Strikers. How do you feel about your team? Well, I, I hear we made a monumental comeback yesterday, going from 8th to 5th, so uh, right now I think we have a little momentum, and that's what you need uh, in a situation like this. And what do you like the most about bowling? Well, it's very competitive. Uh, you, sometimes you're not only competing with yourself, but sometimes the lane. Um, but I mean, you know, you have no one but to blame but yourself sometimes. Sometimes you want to argue and uh, uh, yell at the pins, but you know, that's about it. And I hear you, I mean, you throw the ball pretty well. Uh, what would you say your average is? Um, I'd probably say 180 something, you know. A good 180 something, 181 coming out of the bag. I think he's being modest, it's probably at least 200. Well, thank you. I'm Asha Galante, and back to you, Jason. The PBA League got off to an exciting start two weeks back, with round one of the competition producing a memorable finish. The top-seeded Brooklyn Styles, owned by Grey's Anatomy's Jesse Williams and led by franchise player Sean Rash, held off Billie Jean King's New York City WTT Kingpins, helmed by none other than PBA great Pete Weber. After round one of the competition, Brooklyn owns a six-point lead over the Kingpins, with Jerome Bettis' Motown Muscle and T.O.'s Dallas Strikers rounding out the top four. The top four teams, after all of the PBA League ESPN Finals, will advance to the Elias Cup at the end of the season. Named for the founder of the PBA, Eddie Elias. As the bowlers continue to practice for the PBA League Round 2 Finals, let's send it down to Mike Flanagan, who's in the stands talking to a couple of fans to see who they're going to be rooting for on this week's show. I'm up here uh, with the fans up here in the crowd. They're so uh, razzed up about this PBA league. It's unbelievable. I'm sitting here with, what's your name, sir? Aaron. Aaron here. What team are you cheering for, Aaron? I'm rooting for LAX. LAX, how come? Uh, I like Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte. Chris Paul, Jason Belmonte. Do we have any Adam Splitter fans up in here? Oh, man. Oh, right here. What's your name? My name is Eric. And you're an Adam Splitters fan? Oh, yeah. Why? Because I like uh, Chris Hardwick from Nerdist Channel. Yeah, you check out the Nerdist Channel? Me too. Do you consider yourself a nerd? Uh, not really, but I like the channel. <laughs> okay, so when uh, when Chris Barnes throws a strike, what's your, uh, what's your little thing that you do? I cheer. All right, can we see that? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goodger, uh, Fans up here are a little crazy today. How about you, ma'am? What's that? Who are you here shooting for? Mika. Mika Koivuniemi. Do you like his new uh, goggles? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Looking good. Yeah? <laughs> well, we're having a blast up here in the stands with uh, all these great people. Can we, can we hear it one more time? Can we hear it one more time? <laughs> all right, back to you, Jason. Another part of this week's ESPN Finals is the title match of the Carmen Salvino Classic. It features two players, Andres Gomez of Columbia, who's the defending champion, and DJ Archer of Friendswood, Texas, making just his second career TV PBA appearance. Archer jumped out to a quick start in the event by leading the field of 135 players in the opening eight-game qualifying round, which propelled him to one of the two spots in the ESPN Finals. Defending Carmen Salvino Classic champion Andres Gomez will have a chance to defend his title, shooting scores of 266 and 268 his final two games to secure the second spot in the final match. Tom Smallwood, Mike Devaney, Sean Rash, Bill O'Neill, Pete Weber, and Tom Doherty rounded out the top eight. All of the action was covered live on Extra Frame, and if you happen to miss any of it, all of those rounds are now archived for on-demand viewing for our subscribers. And if you're not already an Extra Frame subscriber, you should definitely log on to PBA.com and look into that now. It's only $7.99 a month and it allows you to watch all the preliminary rounds of PBA competition live on your computer. So if you're not already a subscriber, definitely check it out now and get yourself a subscription. 
Now it's time to head back down to the lanes to Ashley Galante, who's down with everybody's favorite tour rep, Brunswick's Chuck Gardner. Ashley? Thank you, Jason. I'm here with Chuck Gardner, who is a Brunswick ball rep. So this is a new experience for you. You have a team of people who are throwing every different company. And so now you actually have to work with other ball companies to be able to make your team win. How is that working out so far? So far it seems great. Um, you know, the only guy that's uh, not affiliated with Brunswick or Deviate on, on our team is Ryan Schaefer. And Ryan's a fantastic bowler, great talent. And, you know, Chris and I have a great relationship, so we'll work good together and everything will be good. And what balls are they using the most out here so far? Well, you know, Parker, Parker's throwing a mean streak. Uh, Walter Ray's throwing a paranormal. Um, and we're all over the place. Uh, Sean is either throwing a brawler or a, um, I don't know, what else is he going to throw? A or a ringer, maybe, I guess. Yeah, he does have a ringer down there, too. So, who knows? He, Sean, Sean's kind of all over the place. But mostly, the, the neat thing that I'm happy about with where we are as a group, we have so many options to choose from right now. Um, our, all of our stuff's looking great, and our players are bowling unbelievable. So. Kudos to our R&D department. Kudos to PBA for this event. I, I, I think it's a cool event. It's cool to have T.O. here, too. It is really cool that he came down to this event. Um, and also, how are they working together to break the lanes down? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, you know. Some guys are. Some guys are trying to break them down in the track and, and just chase it. Some guys are already into fifth arrow. So, they're not. It's uh, it's probably going to give Rhino and Parker a huge advantage. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, they still got to make the shots. And throughout the day, are they actually going to work with each other to make the right adjustments, or are they just still going to come back to you and ask you? I don't know. I think it'll be a team effort. Um, you know, the, the Sean's team, you know, I, I have guys on staff that are on several different teams, but Sean's team is almost all Brunswick guys. Um, but obviously Parker Parker's on Jason's team, and uh, I think Parker's throwing it great. I, I think we'll all talk. Uh, I'll talk to our players individually, and uh, I think we'll just discuss things as a group. We were talking about lineups and strategies for, like, the, the eliminator, you know. Someone said to me, well, yeah, Walter Ray going the Eliminator. I go, he's the greatest of all time. How do you not have Walter Ray throw it in the, in the Eliminator? And Sean Rash is bowling better than anybody on the planet right now. So I like our chances. We only have two guys, but I still like our chances. Thank you, Chuck. You're welcome. Back to you, Jason. Thanks, Ashley. Well, it's almost time to wrap up this week's pregame show. But before we do that, we have a very special treat. Carmen Salvino, PBA legend and all-time great, and also the namesake for this week's event, is about to throw out the ceremonial first ball. So let's head back out to the lanes to watch that now. Well, that'll do it for this week's PBA 39x60 pregame show. I'm Jason Thomas, the bowling guy at Thunderbolt Lanes here in suburban Detroit. Don't forget to tune in to ESPN this Sunday, February 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time to watch the finals of PBA League Round 2 competition as well as the Carmen Salvino Classic.